Hey everyone, happy Friday and happy beginning of summer. We're out of school and it feels so good. We've already been to the beach yesterday. We met my mom and my little niece down there and had a really good time. And it was so nice. No, it was very, very low humidity. And um, this morning I was getting ready to do my video, all excited. And I, I'm not good at hiding when something's bothering me. So I thought I would tell you right from the beginning I cannot find my new sunglasses that I was going to show you guys. They're, I got them from Oliver. They're Anin Bing, and I love them. And I kind of teased you a little bit on Instagram with them, and I wore them early, which may have been a mistake. That might have been what messed me up. And I am so worried that I have left them somewhere, and I have never lost a pair of sunglasses. So I am just sick about it because I really liked them. I mean, it's like scratching those Victoria Beckham sunglasses. Yeah. Oh, it was these. I loved them. They fit so good, and they were so classic. Oh, I don't know where they are. I don't know if I have taken them off because I did I'm bad about that if they don't have the nose pieces I'll put them in my hair and um, but normally what I do is you know I wear a different pair of sunglasses every day so I just take them off and put them at the end of my table where I used to do videos and then I have them in some drawers I need to really reorganize my sunglasses and they were not that expensive compared to like Tom Ford's and everything. I was so excited when she got some new ones in and I was trying on all the different ones and I just loved those. So that has got me a little bit rattled. So that was one of my favorite things I got this week. Anyway, I got my hair done um, Wednesday. Love it. I got it a little bit lighter for the summer. I just needed a little, I don't know, I felt like it was getting so like smoky looking up at the top. And Brooke sent me a picture of Rosie Huntington Whiteley and said, why don't you get your hair done like this? And I just loved it. So I showed that to Morgan and she just did it. She is so good. And so I'm loving that. I'm loving my bangs not being, you know, in my eyes. And I did get some exciting things this week. Not too much. But, um, okay, I'm just going to start off right here. I went in Belk the other day, which is our local, like, Macy's or something like that. And I had several things to do. I had some returns. I had bought some things from MAC that I never even took out of the bag. Some shadows, like, um, those moosey type shadows and stuff like that. And I thought, I don't need those. So I took those back. I bought um, a lip gloss for one of Brooks, her fashion merchandising teacher. She wanted to give her something. And um, I was going to get the Nicole here, Nicole Shea Makeup, told me that she loves the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof. And I had a sample of it, and I really liked it. I don't like it that much on its own, but I do. I've just gotten where I love mixing my foundations. And I did love when I mixed it with something. So I was going to go ahead and get that, and they didn't have my shade, which is NC35. And so I just got another sample of that. And then um, went to, I didn't get anything at Laura Mercier, didn't get anything at Chanel. Um, I got a sample. One of you told me to try the Clarins Comfort Foundation. I did get some samples of that, but I haven't been excited to try them because none of them look golden enough for me, for what I like, but I still may try them. Um, the girl that was there, oh, she wanted to do, I mean, she wanted to tell me about skincare and stuff, and I love when they're passionate about it, but I was kind of in a hurry because I was doing a lot of things, and so I just ended up getting those samples and kind of running out of there, and then I wanted to go to Sephora. I wanted to get the new Josie Moran foundation sample that Jaclyn Hill has been talking about, so I got the color that she got, which is like, oh, I can't remember the name of it. I don't have the sample up here. But when I looked at it when I got home, it doesn't look golden enough either. And so I think I need to probably go back and look at the colors myself. I just kind of, you know, asked the sales girl if she would help me and got that sample. And then I got a sample of the Too Faced Born, um, Born This Way sand. And it was a little dark. 
Okay, so where I'm going with that is when I was in there, since I was asking for all those samples, you know, I always like to try to get something. And Brooke and I were watching two um, makeup videos, and I think we were watching Manny MUA, and he said that he really liked this Marc Jacobs lip gloss, and it's called French Tickler. And when I looked at it, it just looked like something I would really like. It's like a peachy tone, but it has um, like an iridescence to it. If I had to say, it reminds me of kind of like a um, Buxom Celeste, but not as, uh, I don't know. I love Buxom Celeste, so I'm not going to say anything bad about it. But kind of like a toned down version. But see how it still has that... I don't know, it has like a sheen to it. And he said that it looks good over so many things. I've only used it one time because I just got it the other day. But, um, and I, I would put it over this, but I want to tell you what I have on. I don't want to mess that up. I can really see, I don't know if you guys can, but it really has that like bluish tone to it, which is neat. That's going to make your lips look full and your teeth look white. That is really, really pretty. And his glosses are real smooth and uh, not sticky, so if the Buxom, I really like the way the Buxom glosses feel, so that doesn't bother me. So, um, let me get a wipe here. So that was the only thing that I got at Sephora. And then, when I was going through Belt, I saw a girl walking through with, oh goodness, this bag. And you guys know how much I love stuff like this. I just love it. It's the actual cover of Harper's Bazaar in 1932. And I love that it said Southern Resorts. I mean, I just, I love the whole thing. And so I really have just the sweetest Estee Lauder girls. And um, one of the ones that I work with a lot um, was there. And so I asked her how much I had to spend to get the gift because the gift at the time, I didn't think, you know, it's like I really didn't, the gift isn't what excited me, it was that bag. And um, she said I had to spend like, I think $45. So I said, okay, let me go see what other damage I do throughout the mall, and then I'll get you on the way back. So I went straight to her, and um, I looked at everything, and I decided to get, not that I haven't gotten this a, a bunch of times, and it's like I've gotten, every single person seems like to color me or match me in a different color. And a lot of it's probably what I like at the time. But I decided to go ahead and get the Estee Lauder Classic Double Wear. It's like I've never heard, it never fails. When someone has oily skin, this is their favorite foundation or for humidity. So she matched me in the color Tawny. It's like I could have gone more neutral, but I wanted to go more of a golden because I've noticed when I, what I've been doing is mixing a, like matte or long wear foundation with one of those like um, Georgia Armani Luminous Silk or my Clay de Pose Silky Cream or Laura Mercier, um, the Cashy Beige or something, you know, just one of those that can get a little oily or can, you know, it's luminous or you can mix like the new Jaclyn Hill um, Becca, like, um, that liquid illuminator or something, you can mix that with this. So I felt more positive about this than usual. And so I got this, and of course it wasn't enough, quite enough to get, I'm gonna throw that away, wasn't enough to get the um, gift. So I thought, well, should I get another one of those lip conditioner, the New Dimension Plump and Fill lip thing? And I told her that I had that and that I really, really liked it. And where's the other thing that I wanted to show you? Here it is. She says, well, we do have another, but that was like 40 some dollars on its own, like 42 or something. She said, we do have another lip conditioner that a lot of people really like, um, and it's not quite as much. So she brought this, which is the Pure Color Envy Blooming Lip Balm. And so it's real pretty. It comes in a just natural lip gloss tube. It still has that good, um, you know, flat surface. And as you can see, I've been using it. I wanted to use it so I could tell you guys what I think. I like it. I don't think I like it as much. I don't know. There's something about that other one I just love. Uh, but I do like this. And so I am going to keep this one up here because I keep the other one down in my drawer. Like right there with my toothpaste and my eye cream and stuff to use at night and in the morning. And um, I think this was like 21 or something like that. And it does give, um, it's real pretty. It gives like a little bit of a sheen. And um, I would say a hint, hint, hint of pink. 
So it does like bring your lips to life if there's nothing on them and it has like the magnetic thing. So no regrets on that and I will use it. I mean, I go through lip balms and lip conditioners like crazy. So I did end up getting the gift. Now the big thing is last night I went to just look around and see if I could find it. I didn't know if it was like a, a just a belk thing and I cannot find that exact bag and gift anywhere else like at your local Nordstrom or anything I found I think I found that Macy's is doing another bag so if you live near a Belk here in the south I would go try it and if not I will try to find as many as I can online and let you see so let me just show you what's in the gift the gentle eye makeup remover I will definitely use okay you got to pick a, an eye cream and a day cream and I told her to pick out what would be good for a 16 year old because I figured I would give these to Brooke because I've been loving that Tarte eye cream and I use Rafisa as my nighttime, you know, cream. So I didn't, I knew I really didn't need it and I've given my mom so many. So she picked out the Advanced Night Repair Eye for Brooke and the Daywear Advanced Multi Protection Antioxidant Cream for Brooke, which is good. It has SPF 15. And then um, it came with two lipsticks, and both of them are a little um, not me. This one could be a possibility. I thought of Tammy when I saw it because she loves the melon and the orange shades, and so I might send it to her. It's Melon Shimmer, and it's gorgeous. And you know what? Just looking at it, I might give it a try because with my hair lighter and warmer, I'm, I'm excited about my hair being a warmer tone. But um, I might be able to pull it off. So I might give that a try. And then this one I'll probably give to my mom. It looks like a color she would like, and it's called Nectarine. <laughs> my granddaddy used to say, like, if something was good, he'd say Nectarine. <laughs> and um, his parents were from Germany, but he grew up in New York. And so he had that accent, and I love it. I just love it. So this is a nice, um, it's red, but it has a like a wine red. This is really pretty too. Really gorgeous. I don't want to swatch them in case I give them to somebody. I want them to be fresh. And then this. This is just, I don't know how to even describe. When I was going through all those different mascaras that I've been trying, like the Charlotte Tilbury, the Chanel Volume, all the Smashboxes, you know, a lot of them, Mascara is one of those things like foundation. Everything, you know, people are looking for something different. Our lashes are different and things react different with our skin and stuff. And my biggest issue, even if I love a mascara, seems to be running. And it will either transfer up here or it will transfer like right there because my lashes will kind of hit right there. And um, so Melody Champion, one of my subscribers, and I met her and her daughter at the, my meet and greet in California. And she said that she had been loving the Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara. And remember, I just told you I'd like to try a curling mascara. I put this on today, and I had full intentions of putting on lashes today, because I haven't worn lashes in a long time because my bangs were too long, and they would get caught in my lashes. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, my eyes are watering. I got choked up. But, um, so, anyway, I was so excited to try this this morning, I would have been more excited if I'd have known how much. So I figured I was going to, sorry, <laughs> I figured I was going to wear this today, but planning on putting on lashes with it. It is phenomenal. I mean, it has a regular wand for those of you that like regular wands. It went on like, it went on like the Chanel volume to Chanel, like where it's no, you know, keep it on, keep it on. It was like, Every lash was just gorgeous. And then I went to the other side and then I did it again and it was buildable. And I've had it on for, oh God, probably about an hour because I've been looking for my sunglasses for, I know, 30 to 45 minutes. This just makes me sick. But, um, and it, so far it has not transferred. Now I did put on Lash Blast underneath because I'm so happy with this. Even if it works on top, that's going to be fine with me. And, um, you know, I didn't even want to chance it not working on the bottom because I love it so much on the top. So 
what the point I want to get to is even if you just got this or if you want to get that gift and you ended up just getting this and a lipstick, it would be enough to get your gift. And I also used their Double Wear Liners are, I always forget how wonderful they are. Um, the Nude Lip Liner is something that I love. And then this is the Black Plum, I think. Um, eyeliner double wear in the I just put it in the very corner of the, my lower waterline and I kind of just like rub it in the lashes and it's so pretty and it will stay all day so I just wanted to give you a few ideas of some things that you would like there Estee Lauder I have really just I mean they're those new glosses are fabulous um, the like color envy lipsticks like insatiable ivory uh, potent all those colors are so beautiful I need to do something that helps me go back to some of the things that I love. And I don't know if I should challenge myself like an all Estee Lauder week, an all Chanel week, or do something like that. But I need to challenge myself on some of the things that I used to really, really love. And then they kind of get forgotten. So anyway, love it. If you don't do anything but get this, you will love it. I was thinking today's video is going to be short, but I don't think it is. Okay, let's see. I placed an order at Sephora. I saw Tammy. She did her favorite, some of her favorite lipsticks, and she had already told me about this one, which is the Marc Jacobs, and it's a new collection. I believe it's called something New Nudes, which is right up there up my alley, and this one is Understudy, and she said she thought I would like it. So, God, that is so, how can something just so simple, like a nude like this, be so pretty? but it is a beautiful lipstick, and I do not have a lot of Marc Jacobs lipsticks, so, oh, there's that lip conditioner. I didn't take it off, but let me swatch this for you. It's beautiful. It's very, it's kind of deceiving because it's not a nude in that it's, you know, brown or um, the color of the container. It is just a, it's almost like you get to wear a peachy tone, peachy pink tone, a little corally but in more of a subdued way so that it looks more like a nude on your lips and I have worn it with um, what did I wear it with the first time I think I wore it with Bronzel from Lancome today I have okay I'll have to tell you what I have on in a minute <laughs> I have this on but I have on something else first but anyway I really think that it is beautiful and it is a beautiful formula and if Tammy likes something she she's she's kind of picky she is she's picky with her stuff and um i just think it's really pretty this is one i think i might get this for my mom because i'm getting my mom into some lighter lipsticks and i think that might be one that gives her enough color but is a softer look i really like it now on to what i do have on my lips which is another bummer this morning Sable Smoke by Tom Ford. I think I had this right in the beginning of the Tom Ford just explosion. You know, years ago when we all got nude vanilla and what, there was a new truffle or something, there was another one. And um, I didn't care for it because it is a different type of nude. I think back then I was into like the real light, light nudes. And this is more of a just caramel praline type nude so i um tammy said that she was going to try it and order it and i thought you know i want to try that again so i texted twee at Saks, and i knew they had this in the store and i get stuff so quick when i get stuff from her store because it's in raleigh <laughs> i usually get it overnight and so she sent it to me and i got it yesterday or day before yesterday is when i got it and I put it on for the first time this morning, and I think this is an old tube. It has that smell like, um, what is that smell? Kind of like uh, Play-Doh or like old clay. That's what it, not Play-Doh, like modeling clay or something. And it was really hard to put on. So I do have it on, but it was dry. It was just not the typical... Tom Ford. So I really think that I got, I'll still swatch it for you. It's just a beautiful color. So I do still want to get it, but I'm just going to try to, I think, maybe send this one back and see if she'll just make sure she gets a new one for me. And um, so, but I didn't want to take it off, but I can still 
I mean, it's just that you'll know exactly what I mean. It's that smell. And so I didn't want to take it off. So what I did is I popped a little bit of this over it and that gave it just a little bit of sheen and a little, this, it was neat. This gave it a little bit of color of a different, you know, a little bit of an orangey tone. And um, I, I really think it's just, I think everything is better when you mix this. Like your foundations are better when you mix them. I think you get a beautiful lip when you mix things. So this is something that I got last week or maybe it was Saturday. It was a day, it was a while ago because we have tried several of them. But um, anyway, Smashbox sent me a package. So here they are. They sent me, I love the boxes. Even the boxes that Smashbox and Becca sends are so nice. I don't get rid of them. I use them. But this is the one I wore to the beach last weekend and oh, it is so pretty. John had to work that morning, so the kids and I went to the beach, and I thought, well, I'm going to try this red lipstick on with my black bathing suit and just go for it. And so it's called Boss, and I love that name. And this is a color that was created for Lily Singh, and it is her like signature color, and it is beautiful. And I can say, honestly, this lipstick lasted all day and it did not dry out my lips usually when i wear a one of these like lip stain liquid lipsticks i like them and i wear them all day but i spend the next two days peeling off you know the little flakes of where it dried my lips out it did not do that it didn't ever feel crusty or anything it was beautiful and let's see so that is boss you can see we've been digging in here i have a picture i think with this one on maybe driver's seat this is the first one i wore and it is i've noticed that the terracotta kind of hues are coming back in and that's what this is so let me swatch this for you and show you it has a really nice one that has lots of stuff on it and because it's so pointed you can really you do not need a lip even with that red i didn't use a lip liner you can really get the curves of your lips and this color is just beautiful I mean, it goes on like a dream, and it does dry down, but not crazy, like, you know, yucky dry. So, and then there's a neat color. Yes, this is very different, and it's called Chill Zone, and Brooke put this on as soon as we got it because it was so different, and I don't know if I would wear this um, on a typical day, but if I was wanting to just just shock you guys to death i could put this on but look how fabulous the just the pigment and the color is in these i dream huge i don't know if i've worn this one yet but i think i have this is the most out of all the ones i got probably the most um this is probably the one i would pick up oh my gosh look how pretty that is that is the exact color that i love that is like a flower it's almost like that it's not too warm, not too cool. It's beautiful. I mean, they're just gorgeous. And you can see how they still have like a sheen to them. They don't get crazy, you know, dry. Okay, this one I haven't tried. It's called Some Nerve. <laughs> but I like this. It's that purpley tone. Ooh, look at that. Oh, goodness. Let's put this right here. Oh, my goodness. I would wear that. This with just like I have on, just, you know, wing liner and hardly any shadow. That is beautiful. They really did a good job. And then there's, oh gosh, there's so many other colors here. So you can see even that first color that I put on, how gorgeous it is. And you know what? Um, they're gorgeous. Let me swatch a different, let, let's swatch this one, which is Baja Bound beautiful that is like an orangey red beautiful with a big pair of black sunglasses like the wood <laughs> the ones i can't find oh okay let's just do all of them okay this is out loud oh my goodness that is so pretty this would look so good on someone with like black hair or i don't know or platinum hair you know just like a 
it's a good like one of those rusty colors or someone with red hair but I would think of it on someone with like real pale skin with like black hair that would look good that is so beautiful all of them are just really unique colors stepping out oh my goodness this is prettier than the box you know the box has the color on it um, stepping out always on lipstick let's see for the eight hour power pout comfort Comfortable matte liquid lipstick was created in our LA Photo Studio to stay put all day on set. It has proprietary primer oil complex with jojoba, apricot, and sunflower oils. Okay, so no wonder. You can tell. You can even just tell by the way it swatches that it has those good oils in it. Non-feathering wear alone or under lipstick. Precision tip lines and fills. That's true. So that's a neat um, thing, too, to remember that you can put these on and then put your lipstick on. Okay, this is going to be like a nude. That is beautiful. Those are just all so pretty. Okay. Is um, Shakaholic. <laughs> Love it. Ooh. This almost looks like it has, like, almost like an iridescence to it. Swatch it right here. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. You can just see those, that on the lips. And then the last one is um, Misconduct. I love these names. They're kind of bad. And um, this one is, that is really pretty because that almost has like a, I don't know. It's not very, it's not a flat. Ooh, I mean, that is some pigment. That is gorgeous. That would be like one of those dark, vampy reds that look really good on really, really light blondes. So, available at Sephora.com, May 12th, Sephora in-store, June 1st, and U.S. Canada Smashbox retailers. I'm going to take a picture of that and put it, but I, I think you see it pretty good, but I might post it on my Instagram, too so that you can see all the colors but i'll be right back <laughs> so i just washed all of those off with my just my clean and clear um not even makeup it's not even because it says use an oil base but these are the night relaxing all-in-one cleansing wipes clean and clear oil free huh i really like these i can't remember who might have been bunny graveyard girl or somebody recommended these and i've, I've liked them for up here you know using them for swatches and stuff like that um, okay, so I think that's it that I wanted to show you over here, but I did get a new pair of pants that I have on and three dresses that I really like. I've already done a little fashion show for Brooke and John. Matter of fact, Brooke loved one of the dresses, the yellow one, so much I went back and got her one. And um, so I'm going to put on my shoes and then I'll turn around and we'll do that. Be right back. Today I have on these pants from Target. I ran in there the other day to get something. I think I was getting, I was trying to do a combo run to get spaghetti sauce and a few other things that I needed. And um, I saw these pants and they were like $20. And I just put them on for the first time today. And these are the medium. And I think I could have worn the small. So, but I'll have to let you know after I wash them. At least I can wash and dry them. But my intentions were to get these to wear with my new Gucci shoes. And I probably will do that, but just for me, the kids and I running around today, I didn't want to wear those. So I have on my uh, Michael Kors Annabelle heels. And then this is that top that I love from Oliver. I think it's called, the brand is Getting Back to Square One. It's just the off the shoulder tee. And I have it in black and cream. So that is the outfit of the day. And then these are the dresses that I bought at Belk. I think, when did I do? I think it was like last, I don't know, last Saturday or I don't know. Someday I went out there. And I've told you guys how much I love, I used to have a yellow dress that I loved. And so when I saw this, I grabbed it and everything was on sale. The brand is Tiana B and I got the medium and it fits perfectly. And um, it was 88, but I think it was on sale. So it's just a good little run around dress. And then this is the same concept, just something good to throw on. You know, I love dresses shaped like this. And this one is navy. And Luxology is the 
name brand. I got the size six and it was 60, but it was also on sale. And what I like about this too is that it's ribbed. It's just a real cute little dress. And I probably would wear it with either shoes like this or maybe, maybe even flats or something like that. And then this dress I just thought was so pretty. I feel like it has like that 60s vibe to it um, with the blue, just all the different colors. And what I liked about it is it will look so good with my Gucci sandals because it's kind of longer, it's kind of dressier, it has these colors in it. I just think it'll look so good. And when I tried it on, it was a little dressy, you know, and John immediately said he liked it. So I'm gonna keep it, but um, just so pretty. I love it. It's Nine West is the brand and I got size six and it was only $79. Goodness, that is so worth it. Even if you just got it to wear with flip flops or just sandals, it would be worth that. I mean, when you think about it, it's a whole outfit. So, hey, and for accessories today, I have on one of my new rings, the um, baguette band that I showed you the other day. And this one just looks so good with these pants. It is the aqua and gunmetal band. So pretty. And my nail polish is Bitter Buddhist by is it, uh, Smith & Colt. I was going to say r Co., but it's Smith & Colt. And my earrings, I couldn't decide which ones I wanted to put on, but I put on some of my lightning bolt earrings. And these are the gunmetal and blue. I figured since I'm since it's daytime, I, wanted, I thought about putting the other ones on or even, you know I love these, my Louis earrings. These are some of my favorite, favorite, favorite earrings. But, um... I thought this will be make it even more casual and then this oh there's my new ring which you guys have seen all that and then these hydrangeas i went to my mom's last night and asked her could i cut a few of her hydrangeas to put in my room but they're just gorgeous each, there you go each little petal is like scalloped it's just so gorgeous then when i got home i went over and this is one of my hydrangeas it's a lace cap hydrangea and it has like the different type bloom. I just thought that was so pretty. Oh, I almost forgot him. I bought him this week at um, Belk. And to me, I know this is like a lame name, but his name should just be Henry. And I was thinking I might put rings on his little tentacles. I guess that's what they're called, tentacles. But, um, and I decided it was so pretty. So I've been trying to like redo my little background and I want to, do, redo some stuff in my room too so I kind of got started last night so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend if I can find my sunglasses I will put um maybe I'll add to this video hey everyone it's me I'm back <laughs> and I think I'll probably put this at the end of my video but when I finished filming earlier videoing I was just sick about my sunglasses <laughs> wah wah but so I looked at my picture, remembered the day. It was the day I had taken my bigger car, Black Beauty, to the car wash. And so I went out there and just started searching and I found them, found them in the glove box, which I never do that. But that day, I think I was kind of, you know, when you get your car vacuumed out, you're trying to put everything up. So it makes it easier for them to clean it. And I think I had put these and some other pair in the glove box. And then when I left, I must have just grabbed from the pair or something. So I feel so much better, <laughs> you know, it just, that was a, a bad feeling. So I wanted to try these on for you, but before I do that, let's do this. I was showing Brooke the lipsticks and she ended up loving the nectarine. So she's going to take that one. And um, you can see I've gone to eat my salad at Zaxby's and I've already um, cleaned my teeth and brushed my teeth and everything. But you can see I still have some ideal Lancome lip liner left. So I am going to try this, which is the what was it melon shimmer and we're going to see what it looks like it's pretty gosh it goes on so pretty look at how pretty that is so it would probably look better maybe with another lip liner I don't know. That's pretty. And then I thought we would put a little bit of this over it. I was really thinking it might be too bright and I would put some of this over it, but this is the, um, what is some of those names? Um, French Tickler, I think. 
I don't want to mess up this wand. So I'm going to just take it like this. Oh, God, doesn't that look pretty? Oh, yeah, you got to go get, try to get that gift. And um, if nothing else, just that, the mascara and now this melon shimmer is beautiful. Okay, and then, um, okay, so here we go. I want to try these glasses on for you. What I love about them is how they're kind of like everything wrapped into one. They're kind of like Wayfarers. They're a little bit of cat eye. They're just good. They're um, Anine Bing. There you go. And they're very, very sturdy. Like, I don't feel like they're going to break. Um, they're the kind you can put up in your head like that, which I know it stretches them out and all that kind of stuff. But um, actually, these were a little bit tight to begin with. I had to um, kind of work with mine to pull them out. So I got a big head. But um, so look at how pretty they are. I think they're gorgeous. Yeah, they're big, but they're not, I don't know. I just love them. <laughs> love them. They kind of remind me of those, you know, those great big sunglasses that are like this. That's what they remind me of. But, um, so I just think that so many of you would like these and I will put the link down below. And I'm just, most of all, you guys could have looked them up, but most of all, I'm glad I found them because I really did from the moment I put them on really liked them. Have a good day and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.